Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me. I always appreciate that. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, cut on your notifications, and hit that like button. And now, hold tight for your featured presentation. All right, guys, now, before we break this down, let's just listen to it and look at it in regular time, regular speed, hear the commentary and all, because the commentary piece is key. All right, and I'll be right back to break it down. Put the pitcher on the defensive and early going, the first two innings, they were able to do that. Nothing has changed here to start the third. Ramirez gets his lead at first, nobody out. Strike call, now the throw down. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. Not every catcher could make that throw, so that was pretty special. Benito Santiago made throwing from his knees famous when he was playing, but it's a really tough one to pull off. That's a long throw without any legs underneath you, so hats off to him on that one. Now let's take a closer look as to what happened here, guys. And this was a great throw by the catcher here, Wilson Contreras. Uh, throws his man out from his knees you know again this is something you don't see all the time you know definitely there's other catchers that could do it but i just like the fact man that it was done number one number two i like the fact that the commentary referenced it and then number three i like how it was basically a game of inches you know pinpoint accurate throw and you're gonna see on the tag that i mean it couldn't be any later <laughs> he had to throw it when he threw it and it just replicates itself very well. So you're going to see it here in just a moment. You know, allow me to, uh, you know, get the cursor on the ball so we can follow it all the way to the second base. Uh, but I even like this view, man. You see how the, you know, the batter backs out, the umpire stands up. You know, you got the, the help over the top of the second baseman there, right up there. You know, it's just, just replicating the sport of baseball very well. Again, from my perspective, as far as what I see when I cut on the television. You know, as far as the minor details, as far as, you know, stats and things like that, I can't say if it's replicating the game the way it should. But just from the naked eye, what you would see watching a baseball game looks like it's replicating it very well. So look at the tag here. All right, boom. Just barely gets him. And like I said, any time, you know, any delayed time, delayed reaction, had I not thrown the ball when I did, He's not going to throw this guy out, even though it was a perfect throw. Absolutely amazing, man. And of course, you know, we've seen this from MLB, the show in the past. You know how the dust kicks up and all. Just does a fantastic job of replicating the situation. Just a thing of beauty. Just a thing of beauty, man. It's just that simple. You know, again, what I like about MLB, the show is the fact that I don't even have to be uh, a top tier or top notch baseball guy. You know, I don't have to understand the game that well. You know, the fact that I could just play the game based off of what I've seen on television as well as, you know, when I played when I was young and still have a great time. And stuff like this is what makes or breaks a simulation sports title, in my opinion. This is outstanding stuff. All right, so I'll definitely be continuing to break down MLB The Show, man. I'll look for things that I feel that's an error as well. So you can definitely be aware uh, that all that will be coming. All right, so guys, you know the routine, man. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Cut on your notifications so you know the next video is available. And I promise, guys, it'll never hurt you to hit that like button. All right, that's going to do it for this time. But until next time, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.